Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I'm getting back to it. It's my first day back at work. Yesterday I got back home from Arkansas, so I am just trying to chill out mostly. I don't know if you can tell. It's very cozy vibes today, and I got 60 bajillion eggs while I was down there. I got 10 dozen eggs and four duck eggs, so... I'm rolling in them. <laughs> We're going to be eating a lot of eggs. Um, I'm not complaining though. I also got some deer meat in the fridge. And I'm just chit-chatting while I shuffle this deck. Because I also got a new deck from my bestie. The Antique Anatomy Tarot. I think it's so cool. It's so cute. My sister got one too. She got a kitty cat one. And... I picked this anatomy one because it was all cool, but then I saw the hanged man on the kitty cat card is like on the kitty cat deck is a cat like hanging from a ball of yarn, like all tangled up in it. Is so cute. Like now I'm low key jealous of that deck, but <laughs> I'm happy with this one. And again, I'm still just chit chatting a little bit while I get this shuffle because, like I said, it's brand new and. I just don't want them all in order, so we're going to shuffle it for quite a minute today, and I'm just going to chit-chat because my brain is just not quite <laughs> on right still. I left part of it back, back home, so I think it's just about ready. We're going to see what spirit wants to tell us. I honestly haven't cleansed this deck yet, but you know... Maybe that's for a reason. Maybe that's for a reason. I'm gonna trust it. So the tower. Oh my goodness. The tower, you guys. Um, my sister just sent me the picture of her um, tower card that she's designing. It's so cool. I don't want to spoil it because I'll probably... Hopefully by the time she's done, I'll have my shop on here. And I can sell her deck on here. But we've got the tower. So right now we've got big changes coming in that are kind of going to be causing your... Your... Ooh, I forgot to turn off notifications. So hold on. There we go. We've got the tower coming in. So big moments coming in. Kind of big changes coming in. And it's going to feel like your current reality is crashing down around you a little bit. Your life is kind of going up in flames. But it is to bring in the sun. It is to bring in this new reality for you. It is trying to, you know, you know, your old your old dies your old life has to just die off so that your new one can begin. It's like a death and rebirth thing here with the tower. And I should have closed the window. Hopefully y'all can hear me over that train, but that train is all I can hear right now. Okay, so this is rods. This is, I imagine, wands. It's the one of wands. So that's interesting. That's interesting. Definitely new beginnings coming in. I'm sensing communication, too. Like, someone's going to be coming in and... Um, either somebody new or someone from your past wants a new beginning with you. So I'm sensing like a new energy coming in, like contact coming in. This person's going to be telling you like, hey, I'm interested in you. Or someone from your past is going to be coming back to say, hey, I want this chance at a new beginning with you. And maybe that's kind of the reality that you manifested. It could be a job that you manifested. We're going to go ahead and clarify the emperor. I'm sensing that you are trying to manifest your divine masculine, some of you. Some of you are trying to manifest this energy of being in your divine masculine. So in this, in this emperor energy, that is all of the kings. King of swords, king of wands, king of cups, king of pentacles, or coins. So... That's going to be a little bit different depending on, you know, what you identify as, what you're trying to manifest here. Death. I, that's confirmation. Exactly what I said. This was clarifying the tower and the sun. So your old life is dying off so your new one can begin, literally. Um, 
I'm sensing for some of y'all, it could be this relationship you had with the divine masculine, um, the connection that you had as you know it, like the way that this person treated you in the past is over. They're coming back in with a renewed sense of what they want in their life and, and they want you and they want to communicate that to you here with this, with this mom showing up. So yeah, they're kind of getting over this old energy of not giving you everything that you deserve here. Elixirs. Elixirs. The Ten. I'm sensing Ten of Cups is what I think it's going to be with this one. Um, so <laughs> there's a lot of love on both sides. There's a lot of love on both sides. They're definitely completing this cycle of um, whether they were giving to something else or um, giving to like their job instead of giving to you, like spending more time with work or just spending more time like hanging with the boys or something like they just weren't ready for a commitment here or something but now they are because there's there's this love on both sides and they're ready to accept the love that they deserve and they're ready to give it back as well so beautiful energy coming in here yeah yeah so King of Rods is going to be your King of Wands. They are definitely coming in with communication. This Divine Masculine is what I'm sensing. Or if you are a Divine Masculine, it might be time for you to communicate to this person in your mind how you feel because I'm sensing that it is balanced on both sides. So let's see what else does Spirit want us to know here. What else does Spirit want us to know? The lovers, you guys, I can't make this shit up. Like, this is literally your divine counterpart awakening up to your connection and realizing that they want to have this connection in this lifetime. They don't want the, they don't want to have to miss out on it. Yeah, so we've got um, seven of, of coins. So there definitely was a... There's like an imbalance. They didn't give as much as they could have in the past, and they're ready to um, make up for that now. They're ready to, they're definitely ready to make up for that. And you are definitely like reaping what you sowed here. Like you were the type of person that you know that the grass isn't greener. So you water the grass where you're at. You create happiness where you are. And this person was kind of, you know, chasing the grass on the other side. Um, and now you're here and you get to, you get to, you know, reap the benefits of all of this, basically all of this energy that you put into this connection in the past is coming to fruition and they're realizing, you know, they have the opportunity to have this in their life if they come towards you and give you what you deserve and they want to do that. Yeah, oh my gosh, six of swords. There was a lot of hurt, like there was a lot of hurt in the past, but when this person hurt you, they only hurt themselves. Um, they did something kind of to sabotage this connection in the past. I'm definitely sensing that it was a past person at this point, like this person's coming back. Um, for some of y'all, for some of y'all, this is um, a new person coming in because you've been hurt in the past. You kind of had a problem like accepting the love that they had to give for some of y'all um, because you were afraid that, you know, the same things were going to happen again or, you know, something worse was going to happen this time. But now you're kind of releasing that hurt and you're ready to accept the love that you deserve and we are going to get into it with an extended reading on my Patreon. Um, and we're going to kind of get a timeline to see when this person wants to come back towards you. We're going to kind of try to get, um, you know, the message that it is that they want to send to you. We're going to clarify some more. And um, if y'all are interested in that, my Patreon is in the description of this video. It's going to be in the link in my bio. Um, if you're interested in a personal reading, a more personalized approach, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Um, and we can book a personal reading. 
but other than that, I am super excited to get started on the extended and then get back to rest them up because your girl is tired today. <laughs> so can't wait to get back at it again tomorrow as well. But your girl's gonna go and get finished up here and um, hopefully get something to eat and then take a nap. <laughs> so y'all have a good one and happy Easter as well.